Reports. Well, it's a story you only see right here on ABC Big Two News at six. Judge Dustin Fawcett may have only been in office for six months, but so far he's loving the position and hopes to stay for a long time. Our Rachel Hallam is sitting down with Judge Fawcett for this week's installment of A Day in the Life. She goes behind the scenes and into the judge's chamber for this exclusive look. I've always been passionate about politics and governance. A passion necessary for a busy schedule and a busy life. But Ector County's recently elected judge is up for the challenge. I do love this job. It is the most fun job I've ever had. I want folks just to stay here. I want it to be the best place in Texas to live, work, and raise a family. And I think we are much closer to being there than what we really think. He said his previous position at Motran gave him a leg up when he came to taking over as county judge. Whenever I got to working with them and saw the good that a county judge could do uh, in many aspects as the highest elected official in the county, uh, I saw that there's a lot of impact that I could have on our community. The decision to campaign almost seemed like a necessity. I saw that we needed that. We, we had a, a vacancy of leadership, in my opinion, prior to me taking over. And it was something that I felt passionately that we needed someone better in the seat. And fortunately, the, the community agreed. And the community did, in fact, agree in quite the overwhelming fashion with a 15-point victory. I, I knew that, that my skill set and my passion was in perfect alignment with this position. Growing up in Grapevine, his grandfather actually coached football here in the Permian Basin, and that's how he began to fall in love with Odessa. But the people and opportunity that Ector County provides are what made him stay. I became infatuated with the area, largely because this is one of the the few places where the, the true American dream still remains. If you work hard enough as an Odessa resident or as an Ector County resident, you can be somebody. And that doesn't exist elsewhere. And in his position as Ector County judge, he would strive to grow the community around him. So this community was something that I, I saw that we have all the right folks working. Uh, we have a great faith-based community. We have a great hardworking community. But our governance just didn't quite do what it needed to do to bring our community to the next level. But he couldn't do it alone and looks to other officials with the city and county to help get things done. I, I like to mimic what Dr. Woodley, the president of UTPB, says. and She's a serial collaborator. And I, I love that term. We're also not the the sole expert in any arena as county government we have very limited uh, jobs that we really need to do and do well but there are things that we can do outside of that judge Fawcett sees many cases a day and has several meetings with local officials but he also has a family but being family oriented and making sure I carve out that time is, is the important balance with work otherwise work would consume me just six months in and he still looks to stay right where he is. I plan on being in this office for multiple terms, that's for dang sure, because in order to succeed for this community, things take time. Reporting in Ector County, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big Two News. Well, you can hear more from the Ector County judge about what it means to wear the robe and represent the community right over on our website. There you can also see other day in the life stories Rachel Hallam has done so far.